Now we're going to continue find the area of triangle PQR given PQ and R. So what do we do? We do cross product of PQ with the PR, PQ cross PR. Let me remind you, you can put also like this PQ cross, this can be a cross product. Is a vector, as we said, this is PQ and this is PR, directly I, so 3 minus 2, minus J, minus 4, minus 2, plus K, minus 8, minus 6. You have this one. The area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram, so it's half into this value. Find unit vector to a plane PQ and R. You need unit uh, vector to the plane uh, PQR. So here we do PQ and PR. We do it across. I want the unit vector of this one, okay, and a perpendicular to the plane. So 606, six, we do the norm. So the norm here is root 36 plus 36. So we divide it by 6 root 2, each one here six uh, over 6 root 2. So it will be 1 over root 2, 0, 1 over root 2. Now mixed product or called triple cross product, U cross V dot W. First of all, U cross V is a vector. Vector, and you have dot here. Scalar, a vector is a number. So this is a number. What is U cross V? U cross V, we said it's the area of uh, the parallelogram times vector W. It will be, if this is the height you projected, that it will be the area of the parallel pipette formed of the vector U V uh, W. So by definition, uh, it is U cross V dot W, which is called cross product or mixed product. It is the determinant of you put the three vectors one after the other and you do determine. If you do it U cross V W or V cross W dot U, whatever, all you're going to have the same number. Let us take example. Here, find the volume of the box determined by the three vectors. As we said, this is called the box product or uh, triple cross product. So you put U cross V W, you put U V W, you start. 1, cancel row and column, you have 0, 3, 7, minus 4, minus 2, and now we said plus, minus, plus, cancel row and column, you have minus 2, 0, 3, minus 4, minus 1, you keep it as it is, here you have this 3, so it will be 1 into 0, minus 21, minus 2 into 8, minus 0, minus 1 into minus 14, minus 0, you're going to get minus 23. Since we're talking about uh, volume, so it will be 23 unit Q. Uh, four, uh, now, this is very, very important. Note, four points are called planar. Uh, a, B, C, D belong to the same plane. If A, B dot A, C cross A, D is zero, Y, in that case, the volume of the parallel pipe, it will be what? Zero. When the volume is zero, it means I don't have uh, 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 an elevation. So in that case, Trip, if you want to prove that four points are uh, coplanar, you know you would need to show that a b dot a c cross a d must be zero. If you start by a, you put a b then a c a d. If you start by b, you can say b a dot b c cross b d. If you start by c, you put c a c b c d or d a d b d c. Okay. Check if the four points here are coplanar. So uh, you do A, B, these are the components of A, B, B minus A. You put A, C, and then you put A, D. If you do it here, you have 1 minus 2 uh, plus 10, minus 10. Here minus 1, 0 plus 4. Here minus 3, cancel row and column minus 1. If you do it, minus 10, uh, minus 4, minus, plus 3 is not 0, so they are not coplanar. Copl you have a volume of a parallel pipette. So as we said, the volume of a rectangular box, as you can see, we need to do AB dot AD cross AE. You have the volume of the whole here box that you have. If I want to find the volume of the param pyramid EABD, this pyramid EABD, we know that the volume of pyramid is 1 over 3 base times height. Now the base here is half the base of... Uh, the parallelogram so it's half and you have 1 over 3 so it what will be a uh, volume of, uh, of pyramid is 1 over 6 uh, the, uh, the determinant so it's 1 over 6 base times height so if the volume the volume of rectangular box it's uh, the, the box product which is determinant of uh, AB dot AD cross AE this is the box if they said they want the volume only of the pyramid this measure you divide it by what? By 6.
We proved before if four points are coplanar, their mixed product is zero because we don't have a volume in that case of the parallel piper. Now, suppose we have three vectors, V1, V2, V3. They are coplanar if and only if their mixed product is zero. We need to prove that. We have if and only if. It implies we need to show if the three vectors are coplanar, we want to show their mixed product is zero, or if their mixed product is zero, we need to show that the three vectors are coplanar. First of all, consider four points A, B, C, D, such that vector A, B equal vector V1, vector A, C equal V2, and vector A, D equal V3. Suppose V1, V2, V3 are coplanar. It means that vector A, B, A, C, a, D are coplanar. So, first of all, suppose if you have coplanar, we need to show that this product, mixed product, is zero. Now, if they are coplanar, V2 cross V3, which is A, C cross A, D, this is the vector N. Vector N, okay, is perpendicular to this plane. And since the three vectors are coplanar and A is in the, uh, belong to that plane, it means a b belong to the, this vector belong to the plane and this vector norm is perpendicular to the whole plane this vector is perpendicular to the to every vector in that plane in that case that means n dot a b the scalar product because they are perpendicular is equal to zero so that's why in that case v1 dot v2 dot v3 is zero now vice versa if v1 dot v2 dot v3 is zero we need to show that the three vectors belong to the same plane now if v1 dot v2 dot v3 it means that v1 is zero it means v1 perpendicular to v2 cross v3 v2 cross v3 in ac and ad this is n n with perpendicular to uh, v1 yani this vector and perpendicular to v1 which is a b but a is in the plane and n perpendicular to this plane and since a is in that plane 100 percent uh, a b the vector a b will be in that plane in that case we're going to have that v1 v2 v3 are coplanar okay so that's why from now and on if you want to prove that three vectors or four points are coplanar we need to show only that the mixed product is equal to zero.